is video. And in today's video, we'll look into a scenario in which Poland forms an empire. I have done this before, but that was last year. So, the empires I've been doing this year are 2024's empires. Though they may end up being the exact same empires, Poland goes crazy first. And they invade Belarus. With Polish people there in eastern Belarus, if they're still even there. Rising up. Anyone that likes this new government is rising up. Russia, which is angry, sends in a bunch of peacekeeping forces. Well, peacemaking forces, force peace. But I think that's the terminology. And they move in through into the border towns. They take over about most of Belarus somehow. But Poland is more so Latvia to join them. Poland's right. For its Czech offensive. Probably not going to go into Austria because that would be foolish. Or would it be? But Poland's becoming strong. But then again, Poland is strong. And probably as strong as Germany at this point. With a German rebellion happening. Because Germany sends in forces. And they just about take what Poland didn't have, but they stop. And this is what the lines look like. Now let's see the peace. Allow the annexation of Slovakia by Hungary. Nobody questions it. With them aligning Hungary to their goal of taking over Ukraine. They have multiple goals. They want to take over Ukraine. They want to do a lot of things. Ukraine seems like a great target for them, especially now that they got help. And Russia, because Russia is always at war with somebody, joins. But Poland having a successful campaign, managing to succeed on two fronts, with Russia continuing its offensives, with them making more ground as there's no one to stop them. And yeah. Poland makes its next offensive. Russia makes an offensive. Poland makes an offensive. And let's see the peace. And at this point, they go up and annex these two countries. Because these two countries, Estonia and Latvia, agree to join. Demands are sent to Germany demanding pieces of Germany's territory. An ultimatum demanding most of the eastern part of Germany. Germany says no. And Poland says, well, give us Bavaria or war. No, they say give the rest to Czechia or war. Which must more than just that. But that's what the ultimatum becomes known as. Which Germany was stubborn not to follow it. Because, well, they do have their soldiers ready, but they're kind of failing. With all their coast being taken, they send a ditch attempt to push the Poles out. Does it succeed? Well, it succeeds in taking back their coast. And making a much more slower offensive. But they start getting pushed back, and pushed back, and pushed back. Their southern areas fall. They make another offensive. That gets very gruesome as Poland starts doing some bad things. Then eventually Germany collapses and has a Germany created, which is a Polish puppet. It's ruled by Poland, but Poland causes a big tension with Russia. They annex Kaliningrad. Russia demands immediately withdrawal or this is war. Russia declares war. Poland's like, really? You can beat us? We beat you before. 1922. We can sure as beat you again. With Russia taking over the Ukrainian puppet. And starting an offensive to cut the Baltic area off. Which they succeed in doing, but this was a big mistake. Poland had plans. You may be saying, what plans? Yep, they're going to annex their puppet soon. Then making a Baltic offensive once Russia started moving towards the southern offensive. 
and Russia's in a bit of checkmate. With Russia unable to slow advances from the advancing armies, Russia's in trouble. Poland invading through the great European plain, which they have full access to. Which means, yeah. Oh, they already took Leningrad. Just kidding, it's not Leningrad, it's St. Petersburg. I was watching too many World War II documentaries, don't worry about that one. And yeah, with them moving deep into Russian territory, fine, I'm lying, this is actually Soviet Union. And yeah, this is not 2024, this empire's happening in, just kidding, it is. But what if World War II had modern borders? Ooh. Hey, that's a good idea. With the Caucasus cut off fully. And, well, they take an offensive down until they meet the mountains. No point in advancing in the mountains. Oh no, it's winter, guys. Winter just shown up. And yeah. With Russia making an offensive and cutting Polish forces off. Polish forces fearing encirclement, they start withdrawing back. But Russia fails to encircle them. And Russia makes another offensive. With this winter, they decide, well, let's do another offensive. Let's go to Volgorod. Yep, they're gone to Volgorod now. And they manage to take it. And yeah. Well, yeah. They meet the mountains again and they stop. This could be another mistake. They manage to take Moscow. Russia comes falling over, except this front, which then comes falling over. And Poland demands huge amounts of land. Poland says Poland to Moscow. Again. And the Lannister puppet, which the Ukrainian puppet's pretty mad about, but there's nothing they can do. They're just weak and but yeah. But they're not mad at this. Why would they be mad? They get more land in their Ukrainian state within the Republic video soon, but that state, well, won't be on the thumbnail, unfortunately. We won't have bad borders. But eventually, under an agreement in which they make a agreement with Poland, they gain their right to rehab back their northern parts of their land. It basically became northeast and southwest Germany. And that's all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment wild map bro. Poland having access to the North Sea, access to the Baltic Sea, access to the Black Sea. Poland has become the strongest nation in the region. So please like, subscribe, and comment. That's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out. Bye, guys. But not until you subscribe.